Hi there, welcome to Tech Center. This is Joshua and I'm going to introduce you how to make a 3D chair model in Paint 3D. If you want to watch a full tutorial on Paint 3D, I have put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Before we jump into the video, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive future videos from my channel. If you haven't already watched my previous video, which was about creating a 3D bottle model in Paint 3D, I have put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Now I'm going to show you how to make a 3D chair model in Paint 3D. First of all, I'm going to get an image from the internet. To do that, we need to open Google Chrome. You can open Google Chrome in two ways. Either from the desktop icon, or from the Windows Programs list, here. I'm going to click outside the Windows Programs list to close it. I'm going to open Google Chrome from the desktop icon. Now that Google Chrome is open, I'm going to go to the address bar and I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to type www.dimensions.com slash element slash prove hyphen standard hyphen chair slash and then press enter you will be taken to this website go to the scroll bar and scroll down here you will see this image here right click on it and click on save image as currently it's an SVG file later on we have to convert it I'm going to save it in my documents folder this PC documents I'm going to call it chair I'm going to click on save now that the file is saved, I'm going to open a new tab by clicking on this plus symbol and I'm going to type www.convertio.co then press enter you'll be taken to this website I'm going to click on choose files I'm going to go to this PC and then to my documents here you can see the file that I saved I'm going to double click on it go to this ellipsis and click on it then go to image and then click on PNG then click on convert you can see that the file is converting now that the process has been finished I'm going to click on download Now I'm going to close Google Chrome and I'm going to open File Explorer. I'm going to go to this PC and then my downloads. I'm going to rename this file. This is the one that we downloaded after converting. So I'm going to call it chair. I'm going to click on the file select it and I'm going to go to the home menu to the clipboard tab and I'm going to click on copy now I'm going to go to this PC and then to my documents before pasting it in here I'm going to delete the SVG file I'm going to click on the SVG file to select it and I'm going to delete it by going to home then clicking on delete I'm going to go to home menu, clipboard tab and paste to paste the file. So here's the file that we downloaded. I'm going to close file explorer and I'm going to open paint 3D from the windows programs list. Click start and then on paint 3D. Now that paint 3D is open I'm going to go and click on open to open the file. I'm going to click on browse files. 
I'm going to go to this PC and then I'm going to click on my documents. Here you can see the image file. I'm going to double click on it to open it. Here you can see the four different angles. I'm going to start off with the seat. To do that, to create the seat, I need to go to 3D Shapes tool. In the sidebar, you can see the Soft Edge tool. I'm going to click on Soft Edge tool. And I'm going to zoom in using the scroll bar in the Universal toolbar. So left click and drag. I'm going to left click and drag to the right. And I'm going to use this scroll bar to scroll to my right. I'm going to left click and drag. Here you can see the chair. I'm going to click on the soft edge tool again. I'm going to left click and drag around the outline. We're just creating a 3D shape right on top of this 2D shape. To finish the shape, you have to join it back to the circle at the start. I'm going to let go of left click. Here is the seat. I'm going to rotate it. You can see that it's slightly too thick. I'm going to make it thin by left clicking and dragging on this grip point. Here's the seat. I'm just going to move this to the side. Now I'm going to scroll to the left using this scroll bar. And I'm going to zoom in using this. I'm going to move to the left again. And I'm going to move down using this scroll bar. Now I'm going to create this leg. So I'm going to go back to 3D Shapes tool. And I'm going to click on Soft Edge tool. I'm going to left click and drag around the outline to create a 3D shape in the shape of this leg. To finish the shape, like before, join back up to the circle at the start. So here's one leg. Now we need two of these. We can either draw another one, or we can just go to the sidebar and click on copy, which is over here. And then deselect the shape by clicking outside of the selection box. And then right clicking and clicking on paste. The copy will be pasted on top of the previous shape. I'm going to left click and drag on it to move it away. Now I'm also going to move the first leg away. I'm going to left click and drag on it. Now that's all moved to the side. I'm going to create the headrest, which is this shape here. I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to adjust the position of the chair head. I'm going to left click and drag on this scroll bar so it's in the center. I'm going to left click and drag. I'm going to click on the soft edge tool and I'm going to left click and drag and start to draw around the shape left click and drag once you have the shape rotate it and see how thick it is if it's very thick Make it thin by left clicking and dragging on the grip points. I'm going to make it this thin. I'm going to rotate it. And I'm going to left click and drag it to move it out of the canvas. I'm going to click outside the shape to deselect it. Now you only have two different types of things to draw. The screws and the legs. I'm going to first of all draw the screws. I'm going to zoom in on it by using this scroll bar. And I'm going to use the soft edge tool to draw around this. Left click and drag. Here 
here are the screws I'm going to rotate it to see its thickness I'm going to make it thinner now if I rotate it, it's quite thin I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to move it outside of the canvas and I'm going to zoom in I'm going to rotate it so you can see this and I'm going to go to sidebar and I'm going to click on copy I'm going to deselect the shape by clicking outside the selection box and I'm going to right click and click on paste the copy has been pasted on top of the shape so I'm going to left click and drag on the copy to move it out of the way here you can see the two screws I'm going to click outside the selection box to deselect the shape I'm going to zoom out now we only need to draw the legs I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to use the scroll bars here it is it's just this part over here so I'm going to use the soft edge tool I'm going to left click and drag around the outline then join it back to the circle to finish the shape if I move the shape out of the way from the canvas left click and drag here you can see one of the legs I'm going to move it back into the canvas so you can see if I zoom in I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees to the left you can see that it is very thin I'm going to make it the same thickness as the back legs so I'm going to make it thick so I'm going to rotate it like that and then I'm going to make it as thick as what I see currently so this is the thickness so I can go to the sidebar and click on copy before pasting it I'm going to left click and dragging this out of the way and I'm going to click outside the shape to deselect it now I'm going to right click on the canvas and I'm going to click on paste here you can see a copy of the shape has been pasted let us rotate it back I'm going to left click and drag on it to move it outside the canvas now we have all the parts to assemble the chair we just need to start colouring the chair I'm going to make all the legs and the screws black so I'm going to make this colour black or dark grey I'm going to make it black I'm going to make this one black I'm going to make this black I'm going to click on the final leg to make it black and I'm going to go to edit colour and I'm going to click on black I'm going to click outside the colour palette to deselect it now I'm going to zoom in on these circles so I can see them better let me just bring it back into the canvas I'm just going to select both of them using the select tool I'm going to left click and drag around them to select them both then I'm going to left click and drag on them to bring them back in I'm going to click outside the shape to deselect it and I'm going to zoom in I'm going to click on the shapes and I'm going to click on edit colour and I'm going to click on the second circle before that I'm going to deselect the shape clicking outside the selection box and I'm going to click on this screw and I'm going to go to edit colour black I'm going to click outside the selection box to deselect the shape So now that everything is coloured, I'm going to start putting it together like this and I'm going to use this one over here. So currently this is still two different shapes, it's not one single shape. So I'm going to pair these up by clicking on 
one of them, clicking on multi-select, and then clicking on the second shape. I'm going to click on group, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm going to move it so that it's on top of this image. And I'm going to deselect it by clicking outside the selection box. Now I'm going to put on the headrest. So I'm going to click on the headrest. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm going to try and rotate it back slightly. And I'm going to rotate it back like that. Now I'm just going to place it on. I'm going to deselect the shape by clicking outside the selection box. And I'm going to also bring in the seat. I'm going to click on it to select it. And I'm going to bring it into the canvas by clicking and dragging. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees like this. And I'm going to rotate it left so that it's a 95 degree angle, then I'm going to bring it on like this, and I'm going to make it slightly thicker, to make it look like the pillow is large and comfy. Now I'm going to deselect the shape by clicking outside the selection box. Now I'm going to bring in the front legs, I'm going to click on them, and I'm going to left click and drag to bring them in the canvas, left click and drag, I'm going to deselect the shape by clicking outside the selection box. I'm going to put these legs right here, slightly lower than before. I'll just put them right here, and I'll just reduce the thickness of the seat. And I can just increase it from above, like that. And I'm just going to put this here on top of the other front leg. And I am going to bring it back in front because it's matching with this leg. And I'm going to deselect the shape by clicking outside the selection box. Now if I click on the select tool, and I left click and drag around the whole shape. And I try to rotate it. You can see that the whole shape has been selected. Let me just bring this forward through 3D space, here, here's the current shape, it's very deformed, these two legs need to be correctly positioned, and we need to put on the screws, this headrest is going back and forth, so I'm going to click outside the selection box to deselect the shape, and I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to rotate this first, like that, now that's done, I'm going to rotate this shape, the front leg, so it's facing inwards, and I'm just going to put it right in front of here, and I'm going to put this one in front of the, this back leg, and I'm going to deselect the shape by clicking outside the selection box. I'm going to click on the back legs, I'm going to ungroup them and I'm going to put the screws on where I think the legs are I'm going to left click and drag I think the leg is over here I'm going to click outside the selection box to deselect the shape I'm going to click on the other screw to select it so I'm going to bring it over here Now I'm going to select every single part of the shape. First of all the back legs. I'm going to click over here. I'm going to click on multi-select. Then I'm going to click on these two legs over here. Here and here. You can see that the blue is wrapping around everything. Now I'm going to click over here to select that. And if I zoom in using the zoom scroll bar and I use these scroll bars to move up and down. I'm going to select the screws as well, because they don't get selected automatically. The screws. Here you can see that this screw got selected, and this screw got selected, but you can't see it. I'm also going to select the headrest, 
by clicking on it. I'm going to zoom out using the zoom scroll bar. So here's the shape. I'm going to group it and I'm going to left click and drag on it so it's over here and I'm going to turn off the canvas I'm going to go to canvas tool and in the sidebar I'm going to click on canvas off so the canvas has now disappeared and here we have a chair it's a fully 3D model we can adjust it we can create designs on it by going to brushes and you can draw on it with anything you can choose the thickness of the pen you can choose different types of pens or brushes you can also change the colour of the pens in this colour palette I'm going to change the thickness and the colour I'm going to change the pen to an oil brush and I'm going to left click and drag on it I'm just going to draw a few lines on here. I'm going to change the colour to gold, green, and brown. So you can keep on customising this. I don't want any of this, so I'm going to go to the eraser tool. And I'm going to left click and drag on this. So now with that we've made the chair, let's close Paint 3D. It's asking us if we want to copy it onto our clipboard. I'm going to click on no, we don't need to do that. But we can save it, I'm going to click on save. Because we have 3D objects, we have to save it as a Paint 3D project. That's why this came up. So I'm going to call it 3D chair and I'm going to click on save in paint 3D now when it's saved it will close paint 3D automatically in my future videos I'll be posting tutorials on paint 3D and how to make games in Python I hope that this video was helpful for you if you liked this video please smash that like button and share it to your friends and family if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please click the red subscribe button below if you have any questions or comments about this video, or if you'd like to get links for all of my previous videos, please contact me via email at fortexcenter at gmail.com. I've put a link in the description box below. See you in the next video!